What's up guys, Dick Pin in here, and there it is, right away. The first DLC for Fallout 4, Automatron, or however it's said. And it just kind of pops up on there, and it says to listen to the radio, so let's listen in. This is an emergency broadcast. Our caravan's under attack by hostile robots, and needs some serious help. We're just east of Watts Consumer Electronics. If anyone in the vicinity can come help, now's the time. Ada, loop this message. So yeah, we're just gonna head over there from here. It's exciting we're playing this new DLC. You know, I can barely say its name, but it's cool, you know? I bought the season pass for 30 bucks. Thought it was a great deal because it went up to 50 afterwards, so... <laughs> It's awesome. I like I like how they did that though. I don't know if they were expecting that. Maybe they just they started making more DLC than they expected to. I don't know. Get on my face. They're robots. No, oh, those people. These we're not there yet, are we? <laughs> I'm actually not playing this like I really honestly should be. I'm kind of just yoloing it, not caring. Probably gonna end up getting myself killed. I don't know, I haven't played this in a minute. I told myself I would beat the game with my character here. I already beat it with one character. This is my second playthrough. But I, I didn't. I got lazy and didn't beat it and just jumped into it. I haven't played it in a minute. So maybe I'll just have a lot of fun with it. Maybe I won't. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure. I love Fallout 4. It's been like the best game ever. It got number two as my game of the year. And it should have been number one, but Witcher came out that year. So... <laughs> and that was my first Witcher experience, too. Okay, okay, onwards till DLC. Alright, alright, onwards. Where be thou DLC? Alright, we're getting close. I feel like I might need a better gun than what I have right now. <laughs> oh, I was gonna play this my original character that I beat the game with, but then, um... Lag? Lag? Ow, well this is not PC, come on PS4. Lagging like it's PC. I guess because this is the DLC up here that we're looking at. But yeah, I was going to play this with my first character. It's at a lot higher level, but... I don't know. Oh my gosh. We should probably use this. Hey, why don't you blow up? Let's not, let's not the gun. Let's use some cells. Okay, one else. Oh my gosh, the kicking Nick's ass. Jerks. Hey, they're just gonna have plasma cartridges, whatever. How's that complete? I didn't do anything. I shot like two of them. <laughs> oh, they look cool though. Look at all the scrap metal. Fuse. I don't even know what to take at this point. Like, I don't know. I stopped really taking items a long time ago. What's up? My friends did not survive the attack. Thank you for assisting. I was certain to meet my end here as well. Um, are you okay? Are you okay? Physically, the damage is minor. But I am registering sadness and anger at the loss of my friends. It may sound strange coming from a robot, but they were my family. Again, I thank you for your efforts. I know they would have thanked you as well. That is so weird to hear a robot call another robot their family. Uh... I'm sorry for your loss. My name is Ada. This was the third time we've been attacked by robots like these. Even with the weapon and detection upgrades Jackson gave me, I was unable to defend them. I guess having a Valentine here makes it kind of better seeing how he's a robot. Who's Jackson? Who's Jackson? Jackson was the leader of this caravan. He had a great mind for technology. In many ways, he is my creator. He installed all my current upgrades. Unfortunately, they were not enough to protect them from the robots. Tell me about these robots. They roam the Commonwealth and claim to be restoring order. We've seen them. settlers, merchants, and caravans like ours. We knew we ran the risk of encountering more of these hostile robots if we stayed in the Commonwealth. If only we had made the decision to leave. 
So why did you end up staying? Our caravan specialized in mechanical repairs and trade. The Commonwealth has an abundance of salvage that would benefit our business. It was a calculated risk. You couldn't have known something like this would happen. The probability of attack was high. I should have forced our departure. In recompense, I will seek justice for my friends. Really, literally, and stop these talking to a robot and trying to comfort harm. it. What the it's hell? It's time to uncover the source and confront their leader, the Mechanist. Sounds like it could be a dangerous undertaking. For me alone, it certainly is. You have shown willingness to aid others. I ask that you please assist me in stopping this mechanist. In return, I can give you the schematics to build your own robot workbench, so you have additional resources in this undertaking. Oh, wow. Um, why not? I'll do it. I wish I had the proper vocal registry to express my gratitude. Now, we last saw a group of the mechanist robots at the General Atomics factory. You may find information there that will lead us to the mechanist. I will follow and assist with your permission. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. So does that mean Valentine leaves or stays? Salvage. Chances are high the robots are still there. Oh, he does leave. Oh, poor Nick. I'm gonna see you later, okay? I wish you'd come with me. Bye. So bad. All right, so it's in specials, robot workbench. I guess over here is fine. So if that's what it requires. If you guys are wondering, I have a lot of stuff. I played this a lot, so I didn't think that I would need to use it, but <laughs> here it is. I don't know. Let's just see how it works. Uh, let's have a. You can upgrade the one we already have, or have a new one. Let's see what a new one looks like. It's gonna use all that crap. Gotcha. All right, so this is my new robot. So let's see what they have. <laughs> so definitely need our science skill up. It's a weird head. I think eventually we'll have to. Oh wow. You can get them pretty bulky. Eventually, we're going to have to like upgrade some stuff. I have a couple upgrade points. I never know what to spend them on. It's one thing about this game I feel they went way too crazy on is like your updates. All honestly, I'm just overwhelmed with this. Like, I don't know what they expect me to do. Like... They have this in-depth crafting system, but I don't have none of the stuff I can really do. And to be honest, I'm not interested in building a robot. I have another robot running around. I have a robot already. He's right here. It's the mechs. They're the same exact thing. Just put this alive and instead of me getting in it, and I'm fine. <laughs> well. <laughs> I don't really like it too much, the build your robot thing, you know? Hopefully the story is a little bit better than that, because that's not too cool, to be honest. All right, we're here. You look different in the light. I like your blue. Looks cool, man. It's weird. I have a robot friend. I had one before, but... Huh. It's not where I'm going. I already cleared that place out. <laughs> going around it. Oh my gosh, going in the water. Whee! We'll be okay, we'll be okay. Just a little bit of radiation. Never gave anybody cancer, right? <laughs> so weird we're going down to the docks. Why does this game give me such a weird Grand Theft Auto feeling right now? <laughs> Here? Yep. Alright. Atomic Factory. Was this here before this DLC came out? Because I'm pretty sure they use like the same parts of the map. Nothing's really new besides like the story and build your robot and weapons and armor and such. Nothing's new with the map, I assume. But we don't know that yet. I'll be interested in going to a new place in this game. Long loading, man. What the hell? Attention. 
I still kind of wish they'd put out DLC that kind of goes back before the fallout happens and like yeah, everything's not destroyed and everything looks normal and cool. Maybe just go back in time to try to prevent this from happening but you totally fail or something and it still happens but I don't know. I am hitting a lot of wrong buttons today. Got a perk that slows down time when I'm about to die. Comes really helpful. Cause I almost die a lot. Expert lot pick. They not know who I am. Breaks it. <laughs> Expert is hard, but I can definitely get it. What'd I come all in here for? Nothing! Finish him. I don't know what's like the best stuff to use on a robot, but we'll use the lasers for now because I assume that he would, oh my gosh, again would be me almost dying forever. Like I should use my other character for this, but I didn't want to. <laughs> aim for the head. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Don't aim for the head when it's not doing nothing. Maybe the pistol is not the answer. This gun is complete boss mode. I've been going the whole game with this gun. But I'm running low on ammo and like the, the cheat's gone to where you can get like infinite ammo. So it's annoying. <laughs> so it looks like they're trying to build robot parts, eh? I never know what's going on. So just keep staying there. We got this. God, I love that gun. Again, like, I never think that I'm dying. Like, I always think, oh, I'm just taking a couple shots. I'm perfectly healthy. And then it goes to this. I'm like, how did I almost die every single time? Why are you doing nothing? Gosh, I traded this jerk for Valentine? Man. <laughs> I guess you're supposed to upgrade them, obviously, and you're supposed to like put turrets and stuff on them, right? All right, finally made it up here. Eesh, okay. What about repair kits? They can fix drones in combat. Gotcha. I feel like I should take everything that the robots drop because I feel it would be important to building other robots. <laughs> So one thing though, I don't think I'll ever get into the crafting system because you can't really sit back and just enjoy it. You can't test stuff. You have to immediately just use all your stuff up to make one thing and it might not even be what you want. Can't really, you know, it's, it's hard for you to really be experimenting with it. I fall in one little hole. I oh, know I got up there. I feel so confused on this game like all the time. <laughs> I haven't played in so long and like part of me just doesn't want to play this. Like it doesn't, I have other games I'm playing and I already beat this. It's like not interesting right now, but I'm trying. I still don't know what to take. <laughs> hey.
Okay. Yes. Ada. Did you retrieve something from that robot? It had this strange device on it. Let's have a look. Impressive technology. If my analysis is correct, this is a specialized radar beacon. I suspect it's how the mechanist was keeping track of the robo-brain you destroyed. As the next logical step, I need you to install this beacon within me so we can use it to our advantage. Oh well, let's do it. Sounds like a solid plan. I'm glad you agree. You'll need to use a robot workbench to ensure proper installation, and my presence will be required. To maintain peak efficiency, I strongly recommend that we remain together until the radar beacon is successful. And with the magic of more jump cuts, da da da, that's the robot I built earlier. I didn't do much to him, I might use him later. It's so hard to build a robot because like, I don't know how to do it. No, you know, I gotta kind of sit the time and do it. But for now, we'll do the story stuff. You, get in there. Special, special radio beacon. Do it now. Yes! Is that yellow thing the beacon? It's just like a. It's just like a knife stuck in its chest. This should prove interesting. I wonder what you'll build next. Heads up. I'd be happy to help if I can. Ada. A moment. The modification Ada. was successful. New hardware has been detected and software is updating. And installation complete. Analyzing mechanist hardware. The radar beacon is receiving a strong encrypted signal, but I can't determine the source. Huh. Hell, that's useless. I did all this for nothing? With some additional assistance, I should be able to decrypt the signal and locate the mechanist. Fortunately, I'm detecting another robo-brain in the Commonwealth that's receiving the same signal. Which means the one I destroyed isn't the only robo-brain under the mechanist's control. Yes, and we can use this to our advantage. The encryption on the source signal is complex, but not beyond solving. If you can bring me two additional beacons, they should provide the keys and algorithms that I need to enhance my decryption routines. Yeah, that's about the look I gave him too. Alright, let's do it. I'm uploading the location of the Robobrain to your Pip-Boy now. Just be <laughs> careful. Lovely. These robots tend to travel in groups. So you're likely to encounter heavy resistance. So this basically turned into Sir, you're being haunted, right? Where we have to go get some pieces. I leveled up, yay. So that's kind of cool. That's the start of the DLC, if you guys are wondering. You know, there's a few jump cuts here and there, but that's the main gist of it. If you guys want to see more like this video, let me know in the comments. We can make part two, part three, it's up to you. But no matter what, we will be covering this DLC. When we find cool stuff, I'll show you guys. We get some cool upgrades, build some cool robots, you know, I'll try to show you guys what I can. Let me know what you want to see for this DLC, and I'll talk to you guys later. Dust and fly, like and subscribe. Peace. Hey guys, Duck here. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you guys could support the channel by liking and subscribing and even leaving a comment below, it'd really mean a lot to me. And if you guys want to go the extra mile, we have a Patreon page. You can check it out in the link in the description below. And we have different goals that you guys can donate to and it would really help keep this channel afloat. Thank you guys so much for listening. Ducks can fly, so please help us survive. Peace.